My name is Stephen Turner, and I'm Curator of Physical Sciences at the Smithsonian's National Museum of American History. And I'm here today to show you some wonderful instruments from the Smithsonian's Scientific Instrument Collection, uh, specifically instruments about acoustics, the history of acoustics. Acoustics is essentially the science of sound, the, the study of the physical nature of sound. And it goes back to ancient times. Certainly the Greeks were interested in acoustics, probably mostly for musical reasons, because of the cultural importance of music, but also for public spaces, for architecture, because public buildings in ancient times had terrible acoustics. This was a major area of study before the invention of microphones and recording devices and public address systems. By the 17th century, acoustics was a fairly well-established science, or at least on the way to being established. Isaac Newton had made one of the first determinations of the speed of sound, and sound itself was largely thought to be some sort of a wave. It was thought to be similar to water waves, and that reflected off of hard surfaces and could bend around obstacles and, and uh, reflect. But they didn't really understand more about that physical nature until towards the late uh, 18th century, the German scientist Klodny did an important series of experiments on vibrating metal plates. By the 19th century, acoustics was well established and some remarkable instruments were being made, uh, like these tuning forks on resonators, which could, could demonstrate the physical interaction of waves, either harmoniously or destructively, as in making beat tones. Along with this understanding of the physical nature of, of sound was an understanding of the way that it propagated through the air. And lovely wave machines like this and the, the one in front of me we used to explain that mechanism, how the energy uh, passed through things and, and how it affected our hearing and, and our, our interaction with the acoustic world. By the beginning of the 20th century, though, acoustics had changed. It was no longer a mechanical science. It had suddenly become an electrical science. Researchers were now using microphones and speakers and recording devices. And Mechanical devices like these were ex expensive to make, difficult to produce, and largely considered obsolete. And they were quickly set aside and largely forgotten. But these instruments still exist. They still work beautifully. And they still produce effects that are real and uh, part of science. And these instruments are a wonderful way to learn more about the wonderful world of acoustics. <laughs>